Good morning, beloved. As we start our day, let's delve into the power of speaking positively about our lives. In a world filled with negativity, our words can shape our reality and influence our outlook. Certainly, as we gather together this morning, let's ponder the profound impact our words have on our lives. It's easy to underestimate the power of our speech, but the truth is, our words have the ability to shape our reality and influence our destiny. In the book of Proverbs, we are reminded that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 18.21, this verse emphasizes the weightiness of our words. Just as a gardener carefully tends to their garden, so too must we tend to the garden of our hearts and minds ensuring that only seeds of positivity and life are sown through our speech. When faced with challenges or hardships, it's natural to be tempted to speak words of defeat or despair. However, as followers of Christ, we are called to speak life, even in the midst of adversity. The Apostle Paul encourages use in Philippians 4 p to dwell in whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. By focusing on these positive attributes, we can train our minds to speak words of faith and hope rather than doubt and fear. Furthermore, our speech not only affects our own lives, but also the lives of those around us. Ephesians 4.29 instructs us to not let any unwholesome talk come out of our mouths, but only what helps build others up according to their needs. Let us be mindful of our words' impact on others, choosing to speak words of encouragement, affirmation, and love. As we embark on this new day, let's make a conscious effort to speak positively about our lives and circumstances. Let's declare God's promises over our lives, confidence that He who began a good work in us will carry it on to completion. Philippians 1 6. May our words be a source of light and life to all those we encounter. Let's take a moment to reflect on how we can cultivate a habit of positive confession in our lives. As we do so, let's commit to speaking words of faith, hope, and love, knowing that our words have the power to bring about transformation and blessing. May God grant us the grace to speak life into every situation, and may His Spirit empower us to be agents of positivity and encouragement in a world that desperately needs it. Have you ever noticed how your mood can shift when you start speaking positively about yourself and your circumstances? It's like a ray of sunshine breaking through the clouds. Well, science actually backs up this phenomenon. When we speak positively, our brain releases chemicals like dopamine and serotonin, which are often referred to as the feel-good neurotransmitters. These chemicals not only uplift our mood, but also enhance our overall brain function and cognitive abilities. Moreover, speaking positively can have a profound effect on our physical health as well. Studies have shown that individuals who practice positive self-talk experience lower levels of stress, reduced inflammation, and even improved cardiovascular health. It's as if God designed our bodies to respond positively to the words we speak over ourselves. The Word of God says, A merry heart doeth good, like medicine. While taking action is undoubtedly important, the way we speak to ourselves plays a crucial role in our overall well-being. Just as God spoke creation into existence, we have been given the power to speak life and healing over our own lives. It's like tapping into a divine source of healing and restoration. Of course, this doesn't mean we neglect action or responsibility. Rather, it's about lifting ourselves higher by the way we speak allowing our words to align with God's truth and promises for our lives. When we speak positively, we not only enhance our brain function and health, but also cultivate an atmosphere of faith and hope. So let's start each day by speaking words of affirmation, gratitude, and encouragement over ourselves. Let's declare God's promises and truths, knowing that our words have the power to shape our reality and bring about positive change. As we do so, may we experience the fullness of life and health that God desires for us, both spiritually and physically. You know, it's truly remarkable to think about how much God loves us 
and desires the best for us. In 3 John 1-2, it says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. This verse encapsulates God's heart for us. He wants us to thrive in every aspect of our lives. God isn't just concerned about our spiritual well-being. He cares deeply about our physical and mental health, too. He created us intricately, with bodies that are fearfully and wonderfully made. And just like any loving parent, He wants to see us flourish and live life to the fullest. That's why the power of positive confession is so incredible. And when we speak words of life and health over ourselves, we're aligning our words with God's will for us. It's like tapping into this reservoir of divine love and empowerment. Imagine waking up each morning and speaking words of blessing and abundance over your life. Instead of focusing on limitations or setbacks, you choose to declare God's promises and truths. It's not about denying reality. It's about shifting your perspective and inviting God's goodness into every situation. Of course, this doesn't mean we ignore challenges or hardships. Life is full of ups and downs and we'll inevitably face obstacles along the way. But by speaking positively, we're equipping ourselves to overcome adversity with faith and resilience. So let's embrace the power of positive confession in our lives. Let's declare God's promises over ourselves and trust that His love and goodness will guide us every step of the way. Remember, God wants the best for you. He wants you to prosper and be in good health physically, mentally, and spiritually. So speak life, speak hope, and watch as God's abundant blessings unfold in your life. I will share some Bible verses with you that can serve as anchors when we're tempted to speak negatively over our lives. If you have come this far into the video, please subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Philippians 4.13 I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. When doubt creeps in and we feel overwhelmed by our circumstances, this verse reminds us of the limitless strength we have through Christ. Instead of speaking words of defeat, let's declare our confidence in God's power working within us. 2. Isaiah 41 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. When fear tries to paralyze us and whisper lies of inadequacy, let's cling to this promise of God's presence and support. Our words have the power to dispel fear and usher in peace as we declare our trust in God's unfailing love. 3. Romans 8.31 What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? When we face opposition or discouragement, let's remember that we serve a God who fights on our behalf. Rather than speaking words of defeat, let's boldly declare our victory in Christ and trust that nothing can stand against us when God is on our side. 4. Jeremiah 29.11 for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. In moments of uncertainty or despair, let's anchor our hearts in this assurance of God's good plans for our lives. Instead of speaking words of hopelessness, let's declare our trust in God's faithfulness and His promise to lead us into a future filled with hope. 5. Psalm 139, 14 I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. When negative thoughts attack our self-worth and identity, let's declare this truth over ourselves, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made by a loving Creator. Our words have the power to silence the lies of the enemy and affirm our inherent worth and value in God's eyes. So, dear friends, let's keep these scriptures in mind whenever we're tempted to speak negative words over our lives. Instead of allowing the enemy to shift our focus, let's stand firm on the promises of God and speak words of faith, victory, and hope. We are now going to God in prayer. Let us pray, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the gift of another day. 
Help us to recognize the power of our words and the impact they have on our lives and the lives of those around us. Or grant us the wisdom to speak positively about ourselves, our situations, and others. May our words be filled with love, kindness, and encouragement. Help us to focus on the goodness in our lives and to be grateful for your countless blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May your day be filled with positivity and joy as you speak life into your circumstances and those around you. God bless you abundantly. Amen.